I think North Carolina has a harder harder time getting noticed just because I think people just go to those states that typically you hear talent coming out of. It's tough to get in the music industry. I don't care what aspect it is. Whether it, you're trying to put your state on the map or you're trying to put your studio on the map, you're trying to get your own music out there. It's tough. So I think, you know, the competition is fierce. Um, and I think now it is more spread out. So I think it's going to be harder for one specific just location to blow up. I think you're more apt to see just people blow up all over the place now. My passion for music started in the back seat of my mom and dad's minivan. And I had the magazine, The Source, and I was real little, so I had to read aloud everything that was in front of me. So there was a picture of Snoop Dogg on a blue Impala, and it said, top dollar with the gold flea collar, dipping in my blue Impala. And when I read it out loud, my older brothers literally turned and was like, what did you just say? And I instantly like felt that rush of like how words can affect people around you. I've been pretty much rapping since I was about nine years old. Um, I started as a way to not get bullied. So it was one of those things where it was like, I was like kind of different growing up in high school and stuff like that, you know what I mean? So it was kind of just like, I had to, you know, I started as a way to fit in. So I would start writing rhymes. I started imitating some of my favorite artists like Rakim, Nas, you know, Biggie, Tupac. Those are some of my favorite artists. I started rapping like them and started writing my own rhymes. Soon after that, you know, a lot of people started feeling what I was saying. It was like, yo, you can really do something with this. My first experience with hip hop uh, came you know, from my, my cousins on my dad's side out in the mountains in Virginia. Um, and when we went up to visit, it, it was just filling my head with Wu-Tang, uh, Big Daddy Kane, Pac, Big, Bone Thugs and Har Harmony. It just, it, it, it like took me over. And then, you know, I'll be at home trying to find where, where is, it, is this at? Where do I find this at? And, you know, so I would get off the radio, and when I go to my cousins, I was like, please give me a CD, a tape, or something, you know, I could take with me. Because my parents weren't having it, they were like, oh, no, that sounds horrible, okay. <laughs> um, I've been doing music for a minute. I started off just writing poetry. It was, hip hop was the thing I had to sneak to find. Like, my grandma was like dumb Christian, so anything with hip hop was the devil. So, my nights would be spent with the radio on three, listening to Rock Kim and everything. 10 o'clock at night when I'm supposed to be asleep for school. This is my home. Uh, this is like the cypher, this is my home. Everything about it, because it's not just people that's just coming to rap and showcase their skills, it's people that's got something to say, people that's got through a, going through a hard day or a rough life, or people that's just got to get something off their mind or their chest. That's what the cypher is for, that's what this place is for, and that's always been home for me here in Raleigh, because you don't have anything like that else anywhere else. You don't have it. There's not a group. There's not a club. There's not anything that's at NC State or any other college that's got that. That's got that type of not just a brotherhood, but just that type of, of mentality where it doesn't matter what you say. You're free form over here. You can speak your mind. You're not gonna get handcuffed. You're not gonna get torn down. You're not gonna get judged. And that's what I really love about it. This is what I like to do. I go to war and I enjoy it. Shit. Hey, yo, more kids. <laughs> <laughs> smart choice, smart choice. But <laughs> well, what if I can't afford it? Oh. <laughs> I can't afford it, that's some old shit. <laughs>
Giving you something new. I feel not like you just sticking to me like I'm some kind of just glue. Maybe it's just the fact that I'm just not religious or the fact that I'm spitting these Bible verses like I'm Christian. Ooh. But no, I'm actually giving you the word and you can open up the scriptures. You can check all of my verse, sis. As soon as I put you in the hurt, sis. You about to feel like it's a bad omen the way I'm spitting curse. I mean, you cannot even write this in cursive. I mean, I take the pistol to the pen, the pad, it's a verbiage. I mean, it's just another way I call it an abbreviation. Because when I start editing these lines, it's like a... <laughs> Music is the way to get to the people. Music has a gift of attaching itself to memories, attaching itself to feelings, manipulating those feelings to either do great or do destruction. And right now, everybody's doing destruction. If I gotta do destruction to the people hurting my people to get them out the game, I'll do that if my people get a better price than what they get now. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Duke is universally known as the most hated university because they is great. And I hate to say this and see a change on your face, but if you cheer you for Carolina, going. it's a mistake. You got them going. While I'm rapping the state, I'm letting them know that me being here in these steps is not a misstep or mistake. It is not a mixtape. I'm just hoping that I got enough fans for mixtapes. It's Dropping in two months, please don't forget it. What date? Don't commit it. <laughs> to memory, because I don't know. I just know when I drop it, it'll be dope flows. Let them niggas know that it is my bowl and I'm the shit. I control what's going in my commode. And I thought somebody got shot. <laughs> but please nobody call the cops on license suspended. My tax is dirty and I still ain't working. I got a girl who be fighting me. She arguing about Jersey. She said she found another chick shorts under the couch. Uh -oh. But she ain't find the other chick, so I'd be good. I'm still legit. I told her that I had to hit. She had a fat ass and it's a red bone. I couldn't quit. She told me that if she gave me a text, I couldn't flex. And I told her in the next text, it's something that I missed. She said, I'm coming over. I said, please don't come sober. If you gonna do it, and I feel you bring that tequila. Oh, we got that Bacardi. We could do it like hard. Is this a mystery if you be missing me and I ain't calling? Yeah, it's not just recognizing me, it's recognizing the people around me. Like I want like any artist that comes in, I want to make sure like I'm not doing it just for the bread. I want to make sure that like they're getting some out of it and they're satisfied with it. I want to make sure they're getting better. So that's why I fuck with cash. All these niggas are fine. Before I leave the house, I take a shot. Can't need no Ciroc, just know my shit on the rock. Uh, in the grill, kickback, I'm just watching on dogs. Don't try to hop on my way, bitch, I'm going to the top. Hey, look. Oh, hey, better back up, uh, hey, watch me act up, uh, hey, busy cooling in the cut, I'm smoking gas up, uh, uh, pull my act up, uh, got the back to it, uh, pussy nigga, get no money, get your cash up. Uh, I'm trying to do it, ooh, catch me in the cool zoom, ain't nobody drilling in, and nigga, watch me move through, watch me step up. Who bad is he? Who bad is we? 
chest, she pushing my buttons and never met nothing stick. Right by my side to the day I'm throwing up blood in you. Better not leave me smoke. Green like Luigi. If I wanted another girl, I would get one, believe me. And I drink till I pass out. Just wanna ask how these people think that they the goat, but they got Jerry Stackhouse. My bars are so disgusting, like the flow done went and gag out. You rap about my life instead of rapping about the trap house. Rap about my feelings rather than um ah. Yeah. North Carolina is very underground when it comes to their music. And it's a passion, but it isn't commercialized as much as it should be. I feel like we're underrepresented because we don't have a substantial platform to literally voice the culture from our perspective. You know what I'm saying? A lot of uh, rap and hip hop is from like New York, LA, Atlanta. And when you come to like North Carolina, you see a lot of people that aspire to do it, but nobody that wants to promote around the community. I feel like a lot of people feel like they can't make it in North Carolina. So they feel like they gotta go somewhere else. You know what I mean? Like a lot of people feel like they can't shine in North Carolina. So it's not like, oh, I'm from North Carolina, but I can't say I'm from North Carolina. I gotta move to Atlanta and then say I'm from Atlanta. I gotta say I'm from like, you know, New York or some shit like that. You know what I mean? Like it just can't be from North Carolina. And I feel like a lot of people like don't want to work with each other and they don't want to help build North Carolina up. You know what I mean? Everybody's just looking out for themselves or they feel like they got to get out of the state. And we got so many talented artists here. We got so many people that can actually make a positive impact, not just a positive impact, just a difference in the hip hop culture in general and get their names out there. Like we have the power to do that. It's just that we don't see it for ourselves. If we don't see it for ourselves, there ain't really much that we can do. You have cities like Henderson where I came from. I love my city. But it's a crabs in a bucket mentality. If you're nice in certain ones. Or if you don't run with certain cliques. So instead of people being happy when a cold or the baby gets on, it's a ah, it should be me. Hey, man. Hey. Yeah. Jealous ass niggas, if you ask me. Like damn. You already made it where you damn you damn near famous puss niggas on. Like y'all from the same city. Like, you said, like Atlanta, niggas, they, they look out for each other. They yeah. make sure that all they niggas eat. Atlanta don't have this problem. Atlanta don't have this problem at all. They got it all figured out. Future could call anybody in Atlanta right now and they just link up in the studio and work. I could call certain people and they'll tell me they gonna work until so and so say, oh no, nah, I don't rock with him because you know he rock with this kid. It's too much politics and something that shouldn't be this political. We put too much energy in blocking each other instead of actually fighting what we supposed to be doing with this music. So NC will get some credit once NC got get out of NC's way. All the negative and try to push it away. I see my mind start to get in a state where I'm starting to elevate and starting to institute what. I infiltrate the minds of the people, start to use all of the verses just to heal all the evil. Baby, one day I can finally write in this sequel, but I'm the book to my own imagination, my people. I think it's hard for me to see the river and streams and see the blood from the line and from my people, it seems. I never thought that in the movie we would be on the screen, but now they're slaying us like we all the slaves in the dream. Oh. Hold up, still got the chase in the ring while you chasing the golden liquor where the money it seems. I guess the money is still trying to get money, you feel, but the only thing that matters is the money for for real, so we chasing all the checks and now we cashing them out. Now the people in the south, they all cashing their mouth. Put your money where your mouth is, kid. That's what they said. So instead, I just put the music back to the bread. So I started to put it back into my community and use the words to actually make some type of unity. But my brothers and sisters ain't feeling me or hearing me. They got their ears waxed too loaded just to be healing me. Yo, so now they steady just killing each other, killing my sisters and brothers. I know I'm black preaching, but I'm still steeping like I'm on a church steeple. Got the congregation looking at me like I ain't evil. Yo, I'm just a good man trying to bring good to the world with all these hood, man. Trying to bring good to your girl. She got the good, man. Trying to bring wood to your girl. She likes the wood, man. I wish a nigga would, man. Yo. <laughs>